Hello. Uh, this video is more of a kind of follow up to last week's a little bit uh, related to some of the Pokemon stuff that I got. Uh, and I really kind of wanted to, to share my excitement in uh, what I believed to be true and uh, turned out to be uh, relatively accurate. Uh, so this hat that I have is uh, one that uh, I talked about last week, which is a hat that uh, I got at a special event that I was, uh, I was unaware that it was a special event, um, but it was at the Pokemon Center in Japan, and it was celebrating the Sun and Moon uh, games that were based off of, loosely based off of the whole map of Hawaii, basically. Uh, and this hat is really great as a sun hat, because that's what it is. Yeah, sun hat, yay. Um, but I've never seen it on sale anywhere else, and I've never, been able, I've never been able to find a replacement for it, and it, it confuses me to no end uh, as to why this is one of the only hats that I've ever seen, besides a de Detective Pikachu hat, with, you know, these fancy Pikachu ears attached to them. Uh, now, when I was shopping on the Pokemon Center America website, they had the uh, Pokemon Partners hats that uh, were on sale. Uh, well, not on sale, but, you know, available for purchase, you know. And one of them would be Bulbasaur here. Uh, and if for some reason the current hat that I have uh, were to die, uh, Bulbasaur would end up probably taking its place, despite the fact that uh, I am in a hot place, and uh, this is more or less uh, a plushie that they modified to stick on your head, so it's sort of uh, warm, to say the least, so uh, that would be less than ideal. However, the other reason why I bought this hat was that if we notice Bulbasaur as a bulb that is somewhat uh, hat shaped, if we want, well, I should say hat shaped. Well, oh. if you're wearing your Pokemon partner hat correctly, quote unquote, I say correctly because I thoroughly believe that the only way for you to Suspend your disbelief and, uh, you know, drink the Kool-Aid and believe that your Pokemon friend is really with you is if you make sure that the head is facing forward so that it, it's participating with you uh, wherever you're going. So if your cat is looking somewhere else, you know, your pet staring off in this distant, in the distance like so, you know, they're there, but they're not really participating in the same experience that you are, right? They're not really sharing with you wholeheartedly. So, if you're wearing your, your Pokemon hat, your Pokemon partner hat correctly, quote unquote, you can debate on which direction you think the head should be facing all on your own, but in theory, if you want to, you know, live the full fantasy that the Pokemon is here with you and participating in in your daily life, it would be facing forward. Uh, so, so spaketh me. Uh, but uh, we talked about that bulb in the back, right? That bulb in the back is sort of head shaped ish. So, my immediate thought when I saw this Pokemon Partner hat on the website was that. You know, you could try and force another hat on top of it and make it look like your your Pokemon partner had, you know, snuck underneath the hat or, you know, hid underneath it, hid, in, hid inside of it, and then as you're traveling, popped its head out to, you know, surprise everybody. So, that, oh, my God, he snuck out of the house with you. It's like, you know, how many anime tropes you can think of uh, that involve some kind of cute sidekick character that wasn't there at the start of the episode, but now they are, because, you know, if they're not there, being adorable, why are you watching the anime to begin with? 
kind of a thing. So, uh, this was mainly the entire point of this video beyond the fact that, you know, the more times I complain about the fact that Pokemon Center and all their glorious wisdom thought that the only time and place that anyone would ever want to buy this hat was a very limited special instance in Japan only and not even sell it in Hawaii where, you know, they based the entire two games off of. Uh, though I have heard that there might be like a Pokemon festival coming next year to Hawaii, so I don't know. Maybe Pokemon Corporation is cooking something up where they can redeem themselves in that aspect of just, why? Why only sell this for like a couple months in Japan only? Like, but yeah, I am thoroughly conflicted with this hat now because I put it on and uh, I think it's great, but it's at least 80 degrees outside normally. And wearing this thing in 80 degree, 80 degree weather. I don't know. You know, and it, he, doesn't, he doesn't wiggle. He doesn't wiggle. Look at him. Not wiggling. My lips wiggle more than this guy does. But this hat, the ears wiggle, right? And if you're, I don't know, an average adult, there's a good chance that you'll have at least some experience with yourself or people nearby being slightly drunk. And if you do this, to a small group of slightly drunk people, they will lose their shit. Oh, that's a bad word. I don't know. Maybe YouTube will not care. But that's it. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to come to the store that's in Waikiki. We're open from Tuesdays to Sundays, 10 to 5. If you can't make it into the store, don't forget to check out our website where we have everyday updates on what's expected to come in and what we actually have on, on, in stock. Uh, you can also order online.